Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Canada High Recruiter opening in Montreal suggests a new facility is in the works. Tesla California Virtual Power Plant crosses the 3,500 home mark. Tesla FSD beta tester parodies Dan O'Dowd's anti-FSD ad. And, Tesla Model 3 and Y to go stockless with touch controls on steering wheel. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla's careers page has a new job listing, hinting that the electric vehicle maker is hiring a high-volume recruiter for Montreal, Quebec. The job listing has inspired speculations that Tesla may be planning a new Canada facility in the area. Tesla's potential new Canada facility has attracted a lot of interest since Elon Musk responded positively to the idea of a potential gigafactory in the country during the 2022 Cyber Roundup. During the meeting, Musk was discussing future Gigafactory sites when the audience suggested Canada as a location. Musk responded with, I'm half Canadian. Maybe I should. While Musk's comments then seemed like they were done in jest, a July lobbyist registration from Tesla suggested that the company may indeed be looking at Canada as a potential factory site. More recent reports revealed that Tesla has seemingly communicated with the Canadian government four times in the last six months. Canada's Science and Economic Development Minister, François-Philippe Champagne, reportedly even toured a Tesla site in August. Tesla hasn't confirmed that its next gigafactory would be in Canada. However, the recent job listing on the company's careers page does give the impression that the EV maker may really be building a new Canada facility. As noted in observations from the online electric vehicle community, Tesla's job description for a recruiter post in Montreal, Quebec, mirrors the wording of high-volume recruiter job listings. Information from Tesla has so far not revealed if the company is actually interested in building a vehicle or battery manufacturing facility in Canada, though the company's filings and job listings do suggest that there's a lot of interest in the country. It should be noted, however, that Tesla is no stranger to establishing facilities in Canada, as the company finances lithium-ion battery research in Nova Scotia. The EV maker also owns hybrid Tesla Toronto Automation. Moving to the next update, Tesla California Virtual Power Plant crosses the 3,500 home mark. Tesla's California Virtual Power Plant VPP, which is comprised of homes equipped with Powerwall batteries, just crossed an important milestone as the system has passed the 3,500 home mark. The findings became evident following the California VPP's second event on August 31, which saw the system provide up to 24 megawatt of power to support the grid. As per an active tracker of the California VPP on last bulb, there are now 2,793 homes that are part of the pg and grid and 743 homes that are part of the Social Edison grid. This makes a total of 3,536 homes equipped with Tesla Powerwall batteries that are ready to help keep the grid stable amidst the ongoing heat wave in the state. The growth of Tesla's California VPP is quite impressive. Last bulbs tracker showed 2,149 homes in early August. That was already impressive, as it showed that the system had grown 12.3% in 20 days. Considering that there are now over 3,500 homes in the California Virtual Power Plant, it would appear that more homeowners are becoming more willing to share their Powerwall's energy with the grid. Part of this could be the fact that participating in the California VPP is pretty much effortless, with some Powerwall owners noting on social media that taking part in a virtual power plant involves just going about one's day as usual. Tesla's California Virtual Power Plant Beta also offers $2 per kilowatt hours for homeowners who participate in the VPP, which means that Powerwall owners could receive an estimated $10 to $60 every VPP event. It should be noted that the California Virtual Power Plant is still in beta for now. But considering its successful events so far, it would not be surprising if Tesla scales the program faster in the near future. 
A VPP is a perfect way to provide clean backup energy to the grid in a state like California, after all, considering the prevalence of solar solutions in the state. Moving to the next update, Tesla FSD beta tester parodies Dan O'Dowd's anti-FSD ad. A Tesla Model 3 owner and FSD beta tester has filmed a parody of Dan O'Dowd and the Dawn Project's debunked anti-FSD ad, which claims that the advanced driver assist system will indiscriminately mow down children. Ironically enough, the parody of O'Dowd's ad actually ended up being accurate. Tesla owner John Harity has been part of the FSD beta program since October 2021. Having used the advanced driver assist system extensively, Harity is completely familiar with the capabilities of Tesla's FSD beta. In a post on Twitter, the Model 3 owner noted that he tested for three days under a variety of conditions, using three separate mannequins, and each time, FSD beta proved the Dawn Project's claims wrong. While quite humorous, the parody of O'Dowd's anti-FSD campaign does highlight several things about FSD beta. For one, it is extremely sensitive to humans to the point where it makes vehicles almost overly cautious. It also shows that the advanced driver assist system will do everything in its power to avoid obstacles on the road. Elon Musk has responded to the parody ad, noting that FSD version 10.69.1 would be even better. So far, however, version 10.69.1 has received polarizing reactions from FSD beta testers. Longtime user Dirty Tesla, for one, shared videos of FSD beta navigating out of a parking lot smoothly, while fellow veteran FSD beta tester Kim Paquette posted clips of her car, handling a pretty complex unprotected left turn very well. Some testers, however, responded to version 10.69.1 by stating that it is a step back from FSD beta 10.69. Among these is Holmar's blog, who noted that version 10.69.1 still has some kinks that definitely need to be ironed out before it's released to the program's 100,000 users. Tesla has been extremely careful with FSD beta's rollout so far, so version 10.69.2 should be quite refined. FSD beta is expanding rapidly, and it is also attracting quite a lot of scrutiny. Fortunately, Tesla seems to be responding to some of these, with Dan O'Dowd noting earlier this month that he had received a cease and desist letter from Tesla, demanding that he take down his anti-FSD campaign due to its inaccuracy and defamatory nature. O'Dowd refused, pledging instead to put even more money into his anti-Tesla efforts. Moving to the last update, Tesla Model 3 and Y to go stockless with touch controls on steering wheel. Tesla surprised many with the introduction of the yoke steering wheel in the refresh Model S and Model X last year. Along with the unconventional design, Tesla also ditched the turn signal and gear stalks, instead opting for touch controls on the steering wheel and a new auto shift feature with additional controls to change gears on the main display. While Tesla isn't going to go as far and introduce the yoke in the Model 3 and Model Y, they are reportedly going to go without stalks and add touch controls to the steering wheel in their two most popular cars. The information comes from Twitter user Chris Zheng, who has provided reliable Tesla Insider information in the past. After Tesla released new images showing off the interior of the semi with its round steering, no stalks, and touch controls, Zheng said the automaker was going to do the same for the Model Y and 3. Following Zheng's tweet on Sunday, we attempted to reach out to some of our sources to corroborate the claim. According to what we were told, Tesla is going to make the switch. Unfortunately we were not given a timeline, only that it will take place after a current supplier contract ends. The shift to a stalkless and touch control steering wheel isn't a huge surprise. Back in 2020, Tesla patented a new steering wheel with touch controls and haptic feedback, and the diagrams published in the application showed a round steering wheel, not a yoke, like that which was introduced just over one year later. Tesla is also all about production efficiencies, and there would definitely be a streamlining of production and reduction in costs, with no more gear stocks being installed in all of their vehicles. 
Additionally, Elon Musk has previously said auto shift was coming to all vehicles that have purchased full self-driving capability as an optional setting. With this change, they appear to be taking it a step further. It is unclear if existing vehicles will still get auto shift, but hopefully they will, as all it will require is a software update and the existing stocks can be used as a backup if needed. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.